since I was 13 or 14 years old, I read poets like Philip Larkin or Ted Hughes or Sylvia Plath. I just really love this sort of reflective space of poetry. I don't necessarily think of myself as being a poet, but I certainly think about trying to bring poetry into my practice as an artist. By osmosis, that kind of voice, I think, just like bled into my work. We have a collection of my work here that's almost like a little bit retrospective into the last couple of years. Well, I think when you see language on a billboard, if you see text on a billboard, it's almost like an antidote to this world of spectacular images that sell you things. And it functions like an antidote to the discourse of advertising, first of all. A lot of the time, the work is especially the billboard work, is kind of about the city in general, like the city as a phenomenon or the city as an object. Those pieces can kind of almost live in any city because they speak about the sort of like the city as archetype. This piece says, and the trees are sentinels of something, standing there between the buildings, breathing like horses all night. And it's just the idea that in the city, the trees seem like a kind of like ancient and wise and comforting presence somehow. Like they seem to be like our connection to nature. I'm fascinated by this idea and it comes actually from surrealism of finding the magical in the everyday, right? Uncovering the sacred in the mundane. I don't know if, if like I claim to be making epiphanies or like saying profundities but I'd certainly like my work to be almost like a commentary to how magical the city is. And I think that's a really important job of, of art, you know, that you must wake up and, and like see the magic.